Good morning. There are a lot of hawks and birds and wildlife out this morning. So, this concept that I that is arising in 2020, there goes a hawk, about feeling lost, feeling on the edge of things, feeling like you're not home, that you just don't quite belong anywhere. Feeling like, you know, you wish that some other galactic race would swoop down and take you away and bring you to your true home. The fact that you are not a mind and that you are not a body does not mean that you are not home. In essence, in spirit, exactly as you are. You are it. You are all that you've ever been looking for. And you are that, always. You are spirit, you are essence, you are isness, you are life. Are you going to drink that? <laughs> well, hello. Hello. <laughs> you are everything that you're seeking when you feel that you don't belong. You can't grasp onto or create, like spirit doesn't create a story. You have many stories in your mind of who you think you are. The mom, the partner, the teacher, the healer, the empath, the this, the that, right? You have many, many stories. And that's the script that you have in your mind. But even that is not who you are. That's an energy. That's a story playing out. You may think you have karma to deal with, or you may think you have a past lifetime you need to heal or some trauma that you need to face. And you're not that either. And that can be just as fleeting and transient as the feeling of I don't belong. When you take that feeling less seriously, it can be just as transient as anything else that comes from the script and the story of the body and the mind. You can't grasp or set meaning or attain what you already are. You can't attain enlightenment. You can't become it. You already are light. So the next time you feel that you don't belong and that you're not home, how about take a look at the beautiful world around you and ask yourself, do I belong with these birds, with these animals, with these trees? I bet you can't say no to that. I bet you can't look at the mountains and say, that isn't a glorious, beautiful environment. I bet you can't look at animals and babies and say, you don't belong. But if you did, give yourself a chance, breathe, and let yourself know that it's okay to feel that way as well. That it's okay to not understand this world. But a lot of times what you all are looking at about the world isn't what's real. When you're popping on the news channel, when you're worried about elections, or your job, or whether a relationship works or not, 
that isn't the real stuff that is the component of divine reality. Those are your stories. But all this has got to be there. All these trees, all these birds, all these animals, the water, the elements, the fire coming up from the earth, the air, the wind on your face, the droplets of water that arise from the ocean when it's wild and at high tide. Isn't that a reality that you want to belong to? Don't look at the reality that you're scared of. The script that's playing in your mind. I might lose my partner or my health isn't perfect or my, you know, my kids aren't behaving great today or those are all scripts that you've created for yourself to work out for heart opening, for emotional mastery. But the stories themselves are just added commentary on spirit, but they're not spirit. They're not truth. They're not divine reality. And especially the stories that you see on the news and the events going on in the current modern times of the election, those are huge collective scripted stories of pain. All the discrimination and racism and things that you see that are painful, by looking away from that, it doesn't mean you condone it. When you look away from pain and suffering, it doesn't mean that you support that or that you allow that. That stuff and those collective scripts are, scripts are going to continue whether you like it or not. They're going to continue because there's enough people playing into that alleged reality, that script. It's enough people believing it's true. But you get to create your own script. You. You and only you. Gary's creating his own script this morning. He's just going to lick his feet for the next 30 minutes, right? <laughs> I created my script. I'm going to go take care of my little daughter. She has a kidney infection. That's her script right now. And <clears throat> then I'm going to sit with you guys for sessions for the day and talk about your little scripts, your stories, and your things that you believe are real. And we're going to bring you back to the light of what is real that's shining through those stories that make those stories beautiful and creative without dismissing them but while simultaneously understanding that we get to choose, create, and exist within a reality and that we do not have to suffer. Namaste.